Hello, it's Brick Bros UK, and even though the theme's coming to an end, the LEGO Nexo Knights magazines keep on coming out, and we've managed to pick up issue 26 that's available from the 23rd of May until the 19th of June in the UK and Europe. Now, this issue costs slightly more than usual, coming in at £4.50, but it's because you're getting three gifts for the price of one, which include the Fred Villain minifigure, a limited edition Ninjago trading card, and a Series 3 booster pack that will please Ninjago fans, but before we take a look at the cards, let's see what's inside the magazine first. So if we start at the front, there's a Fred Fact File page, the beginning of the Money Makes the Infection Go Round comic, and it's Twin Vector colouring in. After this, you'll find the Double Beat Your Opponent game, a digital rescue maze, and the competition where three lucky readers can win two DK books. Then in the final part of the magazine, there's a Twin Vector set information section, part two of the comic, this large monster galore puzzle, and at the back are the cool sent-in pictures with this angry axle spot the difference. So the magazine does not disappoint, offering up a great Nexo Nights experience to keep you entertained for hours. And like always, you get a new double-sided pull-out poster as well, featuring an Aaron image on one side, with this evil Berserker one on the reverse that's definitely our favourite of the two. Next, if we check out the training cards, it's a little odd to get Ninjago ones in this Nexo Nights magazine, but if you do collect them, it's good everyone receives a special limited edition shiny gold Sons of Garmadon card with five random cards in this booster pack. And if we open ours up, inside we got the Shiny Mega Attack, Master Wu, Brave Kai, Charging Acronix, Zane's Bike, and Working on a Plan, which is a nice selection to add to our growing collection, and we hope you guys get some decent cards in your packs too. Moving on to the main gift, it's the limited edition Fred who comes sealed in his silver packet that looks awesome with all the green digital details surrounding the minifigure and the action pose of the character, but it's only an image so let's open this up and get this villain built. And here's Fred, now this version is unique because they've chosen to give him the same purple hair his twin sister Polar has in the Twin Vector set instead of a helmet, which is a big improvement and we love the movie Joker molded hairpiece in purple for a change. He also carries this epic large sword with a trans green tech hilt to take on the knights, and around his shoulders he wears a gunmetal armour just like the set minifigure. Then if we remove his accessories you're just left with the same minifigure from the Twin Vector, with the highly detailed black gunmetal and green tech infection armour printing all over his body. And above Fred's white head features a vampire face on one side, with this green eyed metal mask face at the back where there's more torso printing. So this Fred is pretty cool and well worth getting for that hairpiece alone. On a final note then, issue 26 of the LEGO Nexo Knights magazine is another solid issue, and we love the magazine with all the puzzles and games to test your skills, the interesting fact files, competition, and the comic which is a good read. The double sided poster will also look good on your bedroom wall, and the Ninjago trading cards if you collect them are a nice bonus, but of course as you've just seen, the exclusive purple haired Fred is the real star of the issue. So overall, we'd highly recommend this magazine for the Fred minifigure alone, especially if you need the character, or if you want his hair, unique sword and armour, because they're great accessories to have. Now before we finish, we can quickly show you in the back of the magazine what's coming up next time. And in issue 27, we're getting a Cyber Biter bot with a fun critter shooter, which is not bad, and if like us, you want issue 27, it will be out on June the 20th. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO magazine review and don't forget to check out our channel for more fun LEGO content and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.